Hey YouTubers, it's Aaron. Hey, uh, I wanted to give a do a quick video to uh, help somebody if they need it to install the Hammers app on a Linux computer. So what I'm doing here is I've located the Hammers app website, and then uh, this is their main splash page. And uh, what I wanted to do is find this right here for Ubuntu. Um, other uh, versions of Linux may be. Um, different but um, the Ubuntu uh, Linux Mint and uh, pretty much the Raspbian everything with, to do with the uh, Raspberry Pi is going to be super similar to this um, or install the same way um, so let's do this let's let's click this uh, ver or this right here um, if you want a 32-bit version you can click this link right here but I want the 64 so I'm gonna click Ubuntu right here it's going to download this image. It's 100 megs. It may de depend on how fast your internet speed is um, and how fast it'll download. Um, and once it downloads, we'll get it up to 100%, 101 megs there. So what I want to do here is open up terminal. Terminal, and what I with the terminal, what I want to do here is um, I can open it up with Control. Shift T, or if I can right click on the desktop and uh, open terminal. Um, either way, I'll get it to right here. And then to upsize the font right here, I hit Control Shift and the plus key, um, and it'll it'll bring it up to super large size. But that's what I've done. If you didn't, if it's hard for you to see, you can do that. If not, just leave it normal. Okay. So what I want to do here is I want to navigate to the my downloads folder so I'm going to change directory to downloads and to auto to auto complete I just hit tab and it knows what I'm trying to type if I'm hitting the typing most of it out so I want to type it out and hit downloads and then what I want to do here is I want to <clears throat> look for um, the hammers app so down here it shows it starts with HAMRS so what I want to do here is um, uh, look for that um, look for that file folder so I'm gonna list um, all my files in here and then what I'm looking do to do here is I'm scrolling up and what I'm looking for is this one right here hammer is that so I, what I want to do is highlight this right click copy okay and in and not in all uh, Linux versions, but once you right click, or yeah, once you left click and highlight it, it should automatically copy it to your clipboard, but in some versions it doesn't. So um, that's why I suggested just to hit the copy. That way there's no other issues um, also. Or you can do the autocomplete too. So what I want to do here is I want to um, modify that folder to be executed, or that. Uh, app to be executable so I want it, what I want to do is do a change mod and then hit the plus and the X to make it executable and then a space and then when I do what I want to do is I either want to right click and paste um, or you can uh, control shift V and the in the keyboard um, or many different ways you can you can type it in um, like we did with uh, doing the going into the download. So what I'll do is I'm going to type in H A M R, and then hit the tab, and it automatically completes it. So you can do it that way or Control Shift V, however you want to do it. It's totally up to you. Um, but what we want to do there is to change mod H M R S, hit Enter. Oops, what did I do wrong here? Um, ah, sudo ch mod plus x and then ask for your password okay and it gives you no no uh, um, issues it, it means that it did it so if we go in there and look again we're gonna list our files we're gonna scroll up and everything that's executable should be green green okay perfect Okay, so going uh, the, on to the next step, we, what, what we want to do is you can rename it to whatever you want to. Um, 
or you can just automatically put it where you want. Uh, and what I've done, or like to do, is just move it straight over there. That way there's no confusion about, uh, if I rename it, there's no confusion about uh, um, version files and this, that, and the other. So what I want to do is uh, copy th um, this hammer's image, and, and I, I hit the Control shift v um, and then you hit space, and then you select the file folder where you want it to go to. So, um, in my case, I want it in the user that or user slash local slash bin um, directory. So, I'm going to hit use user that local dot or slash bin, and then hit enter. It'll automatically copy it over there. And then what, what I want to do um, after that um, is uh, get it to start. So we've, we can f go over to that um, fo file folder or we can make a shortcut or anything like that. But what I like to do is just go straight to there. So um, I want to change directory to <clears throat> user users that local or sorry slash local slash bin and there um, I'm going to list the files and then if you see right there the hammers image is ready to go so once you type in hammers and then hit the tab it'll automatically open Hammers, where every day is field day. It'll take a second for it to look through everything here. And then this is my first activation. So it's going to go and automatically find, if necessary, um, your uh, information for um, logging new contacts. I think it looks to your QRZ. Um, if you want, you can go uh, into profile and manage your profile and set it up. Um, I haven't gone past that because it automatically found out mine since I already had uh, a QRZ. I think it's default QRZ. So, uh, anyways, pretty much that's it. Um, you can uh, do everything with hammers as you, if you want right there. Just explore and do what you want. So, uh, it shows your each one of your QSOs, your logbooks uh, for that. If you want to create a new one. Um, you can go through all that stuff but anyways that's pretty much it uh thanks for watching have a good one kb9 mtd